Let's play with some new makeup. I have a whole bunch of new PRs sent to me from One Size Beauty, so we're gonna do a full face with some makeup that I've never used, and we're gonna see how they look. I'm just gonna moisturize my face. I'm using the Chocobo moisturizer. Moisture is super important when you're putting on makeup. A little bit truly goes a long way. They sent me two primers. The first one is the Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer, and the other one is the Secure the Sweat dry till dawn primer now i do have a lot of texture on my skin i'm not really looking for the dryness i'll try this in a different like maybe a tiktok video but i'm going to be using secure the blur okay so your typical like silicone primer that feels really beautiful i just put it all over my mouth it doesn't really have a smell but it is truly blurring like my hand i do like that texture now, I usually don't use a lot of primer all over, but I'm just going to be using it in the areas where I typically use primer, which is here on my cheeks because the pores here are insane. It looks decent. The texture of my skin, like it, I can't complain about that. It actually looks really nice. Not really sticky, which I don't like sticky primers, but it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, but I do feel like a little bit of like a powdery finish on my fingers which is very helpful for blurring your pores. So we'll see what it looks like when I put makeup on top of it. Another thing I usually like to do is put a little bit of powder on my face. So One Size did send over their Ultimate Setting Powder. This is the shade Translucent. I do have their Ultra Pink as well as their Yellow one, but they sent over a Translucent one. I'm not usually a fan of Translucent Powder, only because on dark skin it's not really Translucent at all. But this one looks like it has a little bit of yellow to it, so it's not like fully white. It doesn't seem so. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit into the cover of this and then using a little powder brush, we're gonna dust this on my face. They have this Turn Up The Base BBB Cream. It's a beauty blur balm. I haven't tried many BB creams recently or CC creams or anything around that, um, but I'm very interested to see how this one looks on my skin. They send me the shade Deep One, which is Deep Golden. Um, for reference, the foundation that I usually wear is the House Labs Triclone Foundation, and this is the shade uh, 480. So just in case this actually does look good on me, we'll see. Okay, yeah. Ooh. I love the texture. It doesn't really have a scent. It smells like, like foundation. Okay, this is a little red. We'll see how that goes. It does. Now, BB creams are supposed to be a bit sheer, so they don't have to be exact same shade. It says all tint, all shade. Be the ultimate blur boss with buttery, bouncy, smooth skin. Texture be gone. Apply to clean skin, primed or moisturized. Let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, yeah, so not exactly my shade. Just smoothing it over the skin. It does give coverage, though. Look at that coverage. Okay, let's kind of blur that out. I'm using a sponge. Yeah, you can tell it's a little bit orange. It's it's too warm for my complexion. But the product itself is quite nice. It does make my skin just look like skin. Like, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing anything, to be honest. Um, I would say that it's more of a dry consistency. Like, it doesn't feel, like, dewy or anything. It feels like a... You know what? I think, honestly, we're moving to this era of, like, cloud makeup. I mean, that's kind of the trend right now. I personally love dewy makeup, so I've been loving the glow, but everything seems to be moving towards this cloud, like very matte, very airbrushed type of look. I would try it, but it's it's not my thing. But of course, it's just a trend. You don't have to do it. Um, Overall, I do like how the product applies. It literally just disappears in your skin. Like there's barely any blending that I had to do and it just disappeared into my face. I think if this was more of a neutral shade, it would have definitely matched my skin a little bit more. But for what it is, I do think this is nice. I'm going to neutralize my face a little bit with some concealer. They didn't send me one, so I'm just using the Kosa's concealer that I have. Neutralizing it isn't very difficult. Using a bit of concealer gives me that neutral that I'm looking for, so that's not bad. I think my face is a little bit more even now. So I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm using their translucent powder again. I do like this translucent powder. It is actually translucent. Here is their pressed powder. This is the Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder. Let's go ahead and put this on because I want to see what this looks like. This color looks like it's a little bit more neutral, so more my speed. Ooh, 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 girl. That looks 
good. Like, do you see? Wow. Okay, let's try. Girl, this powder is really pretty. It makes my skin just look so airbrushed. Very nice. I do like this powder a lot. And I think that because it's a powder, I can get away with it not exactly being my shade. This is really pretty. I really do like this. Yes, this powder is a yes. I love this. Okay, next, I also got sent some blush. So this is their Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. And it's in Rich Besh. Definitely more pigmented than you're seeing in the, in the camera. But like, do you see these shades? It is so beautiful. I took a snapshot of this on my Instagram and you guys loved it. Like, look at this beautiful color. So it comes with a cream blush, a matte blush, and a shimmer blush, okay? What I do love about the cream as well, if you'll notice, there's like a little latch right here. So the cream doesn't get dirty. How thoughtful is that? So you can definitely apply these on their own, but I'm gonna be applying all three of them. So starting with the cream blush, very pigmented we love. Let's go ahead and okay it deposits very well on the skin too. Oh that's such a beautiful color. It definitely is more of like a brick red so it has a bit of orange to it. I'm seeing lots of warmth with this product selection. It's very pigmented, it's easy to blend, beautiful color on my skin tone. Let's close the latch <laughs> and try this powder one right on top. This should just intensify that color a little bit. Ooh, very nice. A little bit over the nose, I like that. Let's do the shimmery blush <laughs> right here. Oh, like you do not need a lot of this. I'm gonna put this away before I get a little too heavy handed. But like, do y'all see the radiance coming off of this blush? What I think is really nice is that with all the products being so like blurring, it allows you to wear more luminous products because it's not going to emphasize your spots here. And I am noticing, because I do have a lot of texture right here by my nose, it's not emphasizing or sitting in my pores. I can still see my pores, they're not gone, but this product is not like emphasizing the fact that I have texture on my face. I'm actually going to use some of that color over my eyes as well. This reminds me of like, a very romantic like Christmas. We're gonna add a little bit of that same brick under the eyes. And the brick that I'm talking about, sorry, it is the shade uh, Blush Deposit, the middle one. I'm just gonna put that under the eyes as well. So it's gonna be a very warm look. And then I'm gonna take my finger and apply that shimmery one right in the center. I'm literally just dabbing the product and the color payoff is just fantastic it's so buttery smooth i'm gonna do my brows i don't have any brow products from them so i'm just gonna use my trusty nyx uh professional makeup micro brow pencil and the shade is espresso in case you guys are wondering i'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows i am so happy that i did not over pluck my eyebrows my mom would not let me over pluck my eyebrows in the early 2000s and we all thought it was cool. I've been using two things on my brows actually for them to grow because I have very sparse brows. I will talk about that in another video if you guys wanna see that. I'm gonna clean up my brows with a little bit of concealer. This is my Sephora Make No Mistake Concealer in the shade 13 Clove. And when I'm carving on my brows, I do not carve out the top, I only carve out the bottom. This is what keeps the top looking natural and allows me to have a little bit of definition without losing the natural-esque of my brows. And it avoids going back to that 2016 brow. Next, they did send over the Fantasize Mascara. There you go. Now I've actually used this one already and I love it. Look at these bristles. It's not a full wand. There are little tiny combs that are all separated. I'm a huge fan of tiny bristles. I have small lashes and in order for all of them to stand up, I need tiny bristles. They make it so easy to get to the root of your lash and pull all those little fallen lashes up. And I do also like that the formula is very dry. Like it's not super wet. It doesn't get all over the place. Look at that. That's like one coat of mascara. Look how beautiful that is. They're separated. They're voluminized. 
There's no lash sitting idle. Next, we have a lip liner. This is the Lip Snatcher Precision Lip Filler Pencil. The shade is Rent Dew. This is a true nude. Like sometimes when I find brown lip liners, they're usually like too dark or they're a little red sometimes. This is like an actual brown. It's gonna stop the lines of your lips being so emphasized. Like it's not a dry lip liner. It's a very buttery one. So it's gonna make your lips look and feel conditioned. Let's do lipstick, I guess a dual lipstick. I have to double check the name, but on one side we have Velvet Flex Cream and then we have the Cushion Gloss with a bit of sparkles in it. This is gorgeous. Beautiful color. Ooh, very nice. Very pigmented, we all know. Let's blend this out quickly because you know they dry. Can we talk about this shade? So it kind of looks like a rose. I really do like that, like a rosy red. It is very blendable. It's very buttery and smooth. My lips don't feel super dry. And yes, they dry down super, super quickly. So you gotta like blend it out quickly because it will dry and stay. This is the type of red that I like to wear. And you know, I love red. <laughs> and it is transfer proof. Then we have the gloss. This is the cushion gloss. This will stop it from being transfer proof, but it is gorgeous. I'm going to finish up my face with a little bit of bronzer because I didn't add any. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. Lastly, I'm going to use the On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. Okay, and here we go. What do you think? I think we were able to get rid of some of the red tones that were there. And because of the products that we were using, it does truly blend out. I actually do really like it. I think it looks really gorgeous. Even the BB cream, the BBB cream. I'm very impressed by the products from One Size Beauty. There is so much that I love in here. And so I'm excited to try more of their products. I do want to know how they wear. So I will be checking back in at the end of the day to see if my skin needs a little bit of touching up to see what needs to happen. It's been a couple of hours. My face looks like perfect. Like there is no change in the way that my face appears. It looks gorgeous, but the lipstick, because of the gloss that's on top, like, can y'all see, like, like the dry product is mixing with the wet product. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't really like that. I think the, the velvet without the gloss is like beautiful, but I don't want to mix the two of them. Um, I want to check if it stains though, so take a little baby wipe okay it's not a lip stain so you're good to go <laughs> and change your lip color if you need to. so that is the end of the video i hope you guys really did enjoy it leave a comment down below and let me know what are your favorite products from one size beauty have you tried it before or will you be trying it love to hear your thoughts go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video bye